All right, y'all, Keith Dykes here with WKD Construction. We are in the basement of the pool house. Man, we got the AC on, and I, I'm loving it because it is humid as all get all. Outside, wonderful in here. But today, we've got this uh, closet door opening. We're gonna install the door, but we're gonna install it with a door actuated switch. And the door actuated switch controls the closet light, which I'll just show you, which we've got a wire that comes in here. And then of course it will just turn on that light. That way you don't have to worry about turning off the light switch. But this comes, it's a Leviton is the brand. You've got that, you've got a little switch and a cover plate. But our wire comes in right here. I'm saying but a lot, I don't know why. <laughs> I'm gonna recess a trough right in this area because I know the hinges, the hinge is not right here. So I'm gonna recess a trough with basically a giant Forstner bit, Milwaukee. And uh, then we will take the box, inset it, and then ready to go, put the switch in and hopefully it works. I have not done this as many years as I've been in construction. I've never installed a door switch. So I won't be learning, but we're gonna get it and put it in. All right, we got the box, which is uh, approximately an inch and a half deep, which you've got the jam. So I'm basically going to recess it, the depth of that, which is one inch, one inch and basically make a trough for the wire to go in. I'll come in and I will clean it up with a multi-tool and then, then now I can run my wire down into my little housing. down here this wire is going to be a little vulnerable so I will probably go ahead and put a metal wire protector on the outside that way we don't trim and shoot nails into that uh, so I don't know how because the, the, the box that needs to be over here anyhow it needs to be right on the very edge so I can't mount it exactly you know where the wire comes through the through the stud so like I said I will do something to protect protect the wire so nobody so nobody shoots it these interior doors are made by Hudig building products uh, I just ordered them through my local supply and that's just the brand that they sent me which I, I install a lot of them so that's this is basically what they carry but I got it just sitting there I think I'm gonna go ahead and mount just go ahead and install the door, get it all plumbed and everything. And, and then I will come back, take the door off the hinges, and then I can recess my box into the jam itself and do all the uh, fittings. I just think it'd be easier than trying to do it on the ground and then setting it up. And a tool that I use all the time now, I used to just use a level all the time, but it's, is a uh, laser level. This is the Spectra LG, what is that? LT52G and uh, I'll set the laser up make sure it fits of course it fits in the hole but I'll make sure that this this reveal is right I may have to come up with the hinge side just a little bit
it fits on that side. But if you've got a wider gap here, that means your hinge side needs to go up. So I'm gonna put a little shim underneath the bottom just a little bit just to tighten this. That reveal up just a little bit. It just, it just needed a little bit of tightening up just, just the amount it needed. And then I can, by the time I turn it there a little bit, it tightens up here too. And cedar shims are your friend. I just take the uh, cedar, uh, I get a whole bundle of cedar roofing shakes. And then I just cut them randomly, whatever I want, their width. If I want a big wide one, I can use a wide one. If I want to go inch and a half, I go inch and a half. So that's just what I use. But here's a tip you might could use if you're, if you're hanging doors by yourself. Now I gotta get that out of there. That is in there. So I'm just gonna kind of tack it and then I'll come back and uh, shoot it. So then you just take the shim, and then you just shim it to where your laser is, is right on the edge of that door jam. And I always place the shim in behind the hinge. And then I got my Stabilo plate level right here. I always use a level that at least, I mean, it's got to reach from hinge to hinge, all the way, all the way from the top hinge to the bottom hinge. You don't want a level from half, half in the door because it's just not going to work. This would be the most accurate thing you can do. Just put it on the hinges, put on my old man glasses, and check, and it's on the way. So now that the hinge side is absolutely plump, I'll just come back, check my reveal here, check my reveal here, and shim it to the door where it has the same reveal. There we have it, a perfectly plumbed door. And another thing I do, that's about an eighth of an inch gap, which it is summertime, the door's kind of swelled up. And I found out in the, in the wintertime, you know, everything's dry naturally. Make sure you've got a little bigger reveal right here, because if you don't, if you make this pretty tight during the wintertime, you come back, it's, it's going to be rubbing in summertime, especially in my my area is very humid, so once it gets summertime, it gets humidity and, and it tends to swell. It doesn't matter if it's in the house or AC or not, so just be aware of that. And I'll just grab the multi tool. Processing the box and getting the wire in there.
All right, so I just took the box, just kind of marked it where I knew it was gonna fit in there and I will just cut it all the way over to the door stop. And then I will recess the jam right there to allow for this and the cover itself. basically gonna have a double recess. We got this, which goes to there. So I'll recess that. And then we've got a cover that actually recesses over the top of that. We want it flush, so. So this will be about an eighth inch deep and this will be about a sixteenth inch deep. So let's take the multi-tool, do the, do the box one, and then I'll just take my knife and do the uh, cover one. tend to follow your pencil line, your pencil line's fatter, so that makes it a little, that'll make it a little tighter fit. I need to go sharpen my chisel. That thing is horrible. I'll be back. Uh, I found another one that's a little smaller. It's definitely sharper. That's pretty, pretty close. I'll try that, see if I can. Get tied up in there. All right, I think I've got it. I've got a recess for the cover and then a recess for the box. So I'll try to put it together, see what we got. So I just got a Romex connector. center hole which the screw plate goes on to I just drilled holes turn the light on here I just drilled a big hole all the way through that way when I put this the screw cover it's not gonna hit the wood so Leviton sent screws and they are flathead who in the hell uses flathead <laughs> oh they're horrible they are horrible But came with the uh, switch, so I'm gonna use it. <laughs> All right, so the box is mounted, and I'll hook up the switch and sneak the cover on there. 
hopefully everything uh, fits in there nice and tight. So here's a little uh, switch. It's just got a couple of nuts. I'm just going to make it to where when I push it in, it's almost going to be flush. I guess you can adjust it if need be. So hopefully that'll work. I'm gonna go turn the power on and uh, see if this thing don't work. I got power on, so let's try it out. Oh, nice. That's what I'm talking about. I think I'm gonna have to uh, shave the sides of this uh, plate down just a little bit because it's actually just a hair wider than my jam. I don't want it wider than that, so I'll stick it on there. And like I said, I might have to just sand it down just a little bit to make it fit. So I just grabbed the flapper wheel and uh, just kind of hit, took maybe a sixteenth off off of that side right there. So just a closer look, that's it. Got the ground screw back there grounding the junction box. And just a couple wires. This is actually a switch leg that is fed from the can light down to here. So I only had one wire uh, that way, because I knew the box was gonna be small and we wouldn't have an issue with wires <laughs> in, this, in this small junction box. There it is. I don't know why they sent brass screws, but that's what I got. I ended up changing them out. I'll hang the door, see if it works. See if I don't have to adjust this. Hopefully I won't. We'll see. Good thing it's just because <laughs> uh, that would be horrible. I have to redo it. But. So I just had to take the cover plate off, uh, screw the inside nut in, maybe a quarter of an inch. Let's see if it works. Oh, got it, coach. Take you on the inside. <laughs> Got it. Beautiful. All right, so right here, I don't know, this brackets, I think it's just a little too wide for this door. I don't know, maybe I should have looked a little harder for I, for I bought one, but I just took a piece of uh, jam, trim. I'll go ahead and piece that in there. So after I get that glued in and dried, probably do a little spackling, get it nice and where it looks all one piece. And then we'll come back with our casing and uh, go right over the top of it and trim it out. And it will look A-O-Tay. All right, so I went ahead and pieced it in. I just put some silicone on the backside of it, thin coat, just to kind of make it stick. We'll let it dry, I'll put some spackle in there. Of course I got my uh, wire protectors, protector plates, 
and they wouldn't go in but to the drywall. So I just used some lathing screws to go over the top just to kind of hold it that way. Nobody can shoot, shoot uh, trim nails through it. All right, y'all, that is it. We got the door hung and we installed the door switch for the closet light. So like I said, I have never installed a door switch like that for as many years as I've been in construction. I think I graduated in 94, so I started in 95 and that's pretty crazy that I've never, nobody's even ever asked for one. So, but I think we did it wonderfully. It works great. Uh, Somebody that does it on a regular basis probably has a better technique, but overall the end result is that it works. If you like our videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification. That way every time I upload a video or a short, you'll be notified. So y'all have a wonderful day and thanks for watching.